Hi everyone. Today I thought I'd speak to you about activism. The dictionary definition of activism is the policy or action of using vigorous campaigning to bring about political or social change. Now, I'm all for activism because that's how we change the world for the better and it's how we advance and evolve as a culture and as a race. However, here's a question that I'd like to ask. Are you mistaking your anger for activism? In other words, are you justifying your anger by calling it activism and thereby spreading your anger to everyone around you, believing that you're campaigning for a cause? Activism is a movement or a drive. It's about driving a crusade towards some outcome. But the question is, is your movement driven by anger or by love and inspiration? This will determine whether you're moving towards separation and polarization or towards unity and harmony. Now, I'm all for free speech and all of that, but using anger to lash out at the world while calling it spreading awareness just doesn't work. You know why? Because the ones you're crusading against only get madder when you approach them with anger and they'll fight back even harder. You're not going to win anyone over with rage and all you'll do is promote even more separation and polarization. It's like fighting fire with fire and it just doesn't work and you'll end up getting stressed. And remember, you have to live with yourself. Oh, and don't forget, we're all connected. So you'll be taking that anger with you. So when you're with friends and family, they'll all feel it too. Any of you know someone like that? And have you noticed that when you don't want to be a part of that energy, you get accused of not being socially aware or of not caring enough about the state of the world, right? Okay, so how do we change the world if we're angry about something we don't like? I do what Mother Teresa once said. She said, I was asked why I don't participate in anti-war demonstrations. I said that I'll never do that, but as soon as you have a pro-peace rally, I'll be there. That was a really important insight. And in a similar vein, I would support any effort that promotes and advocates love, unity, and empathy. Okay, so let's say that there really is something that you're extremely angry about, either socially or politically. How do you deal with it? You ask yourself this question. What would be the ideal solution to what I'm angry about? In other words, what would I like to see instead of what I'm seeing now? And start thinking about the ideal solution until you start to feel passionate about what you'd like to see happen instead. And then you start focusing on that ideal solution to the situation, the situation that you're passionate about and not on the problem that's making you angry. Do you get what I mean? Solution focused and passion focused instead of problem focused and anger focused. And now start your movement towards what you're passionate about. Can you feel the difference even within your own body when your focus is on your passion as opposed to your anger? Your whole being will be charged full of energy when you focus on your passion. You'll feel energized, not angry. You'll feel so much more empowered because you'll be coming from a place of inspiration and love instead of anger and fear. And that's the person you'll be living with and bringing with you wherever you go. And passion is infectious and people will want to jump on board and support you. They'll want some of what you have. So remember, expressing anger towards what we don't like does not move things forward. It creates more anger and resistance from the opposing side and promotes separation and polarization. And here's one more tip I want to give you. Let's say you're someone who's created a movement steeped in love and unity and peace, but you're being confronted by angry activists who want the opposite. What do you do? How do you dissipate their anger? You listen to them. Ask them what they're angry about and what they fear. Hear them out. 
You listen to what they're saying and why they feel the way they do. And as you listen, you'll see their anger dissolve just because someone's actually listening. Everyone's been reacting to their anger with more anger. Everyone's fighting with them. Everyone's saying, I have the right to free speech. But what's the point of free speech if no one's listening to your speech because everyone's so busy speaking? So listen. And when you listen, people change. They drop their armor. We're all connected. We can't survive as a race the way we're going. Your anger affects me and vice versa because we're like cells in a human body. And if we all fight each other this way, we're like a cancer on the planet that's metastasizing and getting bigger. We have to work together. But the best way to do that is to heal ourselves as individuals, each and every one of us. And how do we do that? By finding our own joy, by finding our own love, by finding our own passion and inspiration. Our only responsibility is to lift ourself so that we are the person we take out into the world. The person we take out into the world has to be one of love and inspiration who touches and inspires others to do the same. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you next week.